I think what's really cool about this is it's lightning in a bottle. UBC researchers are field testing a prototype robot that could change the future of drug testing at the Shambhala Music Festival in the Kootenays this weekend. About a year ago, a graduate student named Sarah Guzman joined my lab, uh, and she had a background from Health Canada. She had been working in the safe supply and drug checking space, and she identified this need of like, look, we need to do something better. And the problem she saw at Health Canada was samples would come in and, you know, they're just overwhelmed. They might get one or two done or like they get samples done, but there's this huge delay where the information comes back to them a couple weeks later. So it's too late by that point. The potentially life-saving machine will be set up at Shambhala to identify unwanted substances in samples, including fentanyl, in about 15 minutes. If it's going to work, it has to go outside the lab. We want to make sure that it can actually um, go out and work in the field. So we were looking for an opportunity to, uh, to for somebody to host us. And again, they've, we are their guests, right? They, they were the ones that said, hey, we'd be interested in seeing this. These samples will be compared with the results from other drug checking lab services. We are not the only line, right? There's the entire health tent with a lot of other uh, more seasoned people that's doing testing as well. So they're, they're helping us by uh, all the samples coming through are being cross-checked by the more established techniques so that we know like we're in still crawl, walk kind of uh, uh, space. The BC Coroner's Service said 184 people died in the province in June due to the toxic, unregulated drug supply. The goal is to eventually have the robot become fully hands-free, fully anonymous kiosk that makes drug checking more accessible. But it needs to be something like a community uh, access point that anybody could sort of walk up, drop off a sample, 10 minutes later you have information. This fall, the team will be scaling up the program where the same testing will be done from a drop box. You can drop off a sample, put it into a lockbox, and then we will test it uh, as soon as the sample gets registered. So that's probably about a day or so turnaround instead of a, a couple of minutes. Um, but going forward, right, if this works well enough, we can imagine building out a system that, that literally is a kiosk that just lives either on campus, out in the community, completely sort of, you know, something that somebody could walk up to like an ATM. For Gasnet News, I'm Casey Richardson.